السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد نادي الاقتصاد الإسلامي is pleased to conduct the second webinar on Islamic banking principles and practices today and we would like to welcome all the participants and attendees, professionals, uh, teachers to this uh, very precious lecture um, and Nadil Iqtisad al-Islami is uh, honored to have you in this lecture today. Today, uh, our guest speaker is uh, Dr. Habibur Rahman. Uh, we introduced him in last or in previous lecture uh, conducted by him. Uh, just uh, briefly, Dr. Habibur Rahman is uh, a senior lecturer in Sultan uh, Zainul Abedin, uh, Malaysia. Uh, currently, he is working as a lecturer and also he has been conferred uh, the PhD, a PhD in Fiqh uh, al by the International Islamic University, Malaysia. Dr. Habib Rahman also uh, obtained his bachelor from Jamiatul Azhar uh, and he has many publications and he is currently conducting many lectures and workshops, trainings in Islamic banking and finance. So, <clears throat> I would like to uh, request Dr. Habib Rahman also uh, to uh, mention some mustalahat bil al arabiya so that our participants can understand English terms and also al mustalahat al arabiya as well. Uh, which are very important to understand in Arabic and in English as well. So uh, without further ado, I would like to uh, invite uh, and call upon Dr. Habib Rahman to conduct the lecture today and please welcome. Okay, Jazakumullah khairan. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen wa salat wa salam ala nabi al-ameen wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in amma ba'd uh, Thank you very much uh, dear uh, moderator Al-Akh Dr. Muhammad Mahayuddin Jazakumullah khairan for this nice introduction and ashukru wa taqdeer al-mawsul li nadil iqtisad al-islami thanks uh, also goes to Islamic Economics Association organizing uh, such a, an important event in order to develop the talent and intellectuals in Islamic finance. Uh, as we know that uh, Islamic finance industry now very much needed for talent. Talent, um, those who have both Islamic and business um, background and business knowledge. So I think uh, this is a wonderful in initiative from Nadir Iqtisad al-Islami. So um, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And thanks also goes for the participants and audience from different background, professionals, uh, teachers, uh, researchers, lecturers, professors. So I welcome to all of you. And thank you very much. Ahlam wa salam. Inshallah, today we are going to discuss uh, and we are going to continue uh, where we have finished in our last session. Right? So let me uh, share my screen first. Okay, I hope uh, screen is visible for the audience. Uh, yes, yes, it's visible. Okay. It's okay. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So uh, we discussed in our last session uh, the Islamic banking principles, right? And we tried to introduce uh, Islamic banking and finance 
And also we highlighted the difference between um, the fundamental differences between conventional and Islamic banking. Why we are actually trying to establish to introduce another new system while we have already uh, a sophisticated smart banking system, right? That is conventional. Uh, because of course the, the big problem is uh, having the uh, interest, riba and all other things, right? And we discuss also uh, the basic difference that uh, this uh, banking operation, Islamic banking operation is mostly based on the commodity and contract based, right? Each and every product and services uh, that must structured based on any Sharia compliant underlying contract, right? And we also highlighted the difference between the interest and profit, right? When you exchange money for money, when you exchange currency for currency, in order to uh, get the extra benefit or in order to gain the profit, that will be interest, right? But when you, we exchange money for the commodity, then can be converted again to the money. So this, this will constitute the profit, right? Also, we mentioned that in order to gain the profit, we must have do some effort, right? We must uh, involve with some economic undertakings, economic jobs, economic activities. We must do business, make some effort. And as well as we must take liability, risk. If you have just, um, you are a capital provider, so never mind, you can invest your capital but you have to take the risk and liability of the business. Any loss happens in the business, so you have to participate with the uh, with the manager as well. So that uh, justifies uh, to make money. Right? Unlike the interest system, there is uh, neither they make any effort nor they take any risk. Every uh, all the risk goes to the businessman, the capital provider, or who who provides the money. So he doesn't have any burden either liabilities or either in the form of making effort. So these are the some underlying uh, philosophy and concept and differences uh, between conventional and Islamic banking system, all right? So this we have discussed uh, in our previous sessions. So today, inshallah, we will discuss about some operational aspect of Islamic banking practices, right? Islamic banking practices. What are the operation Islamic banks normally do, right? So as we know, because we are talking about Islamic banking, so the main job is, uh, is clear, right? Is uh, receiving money or receiving fund from the surplus unit and providing fund for the deficit unit of the economy. And, and in, the, in this job, both Islamic banks and conventional banks are similar. So in terms of making any economic effect, right? And business outcome, uh, both bank, banking systems can can um, provide the same outcome the, so the main differences is the underlying philosophy uh, the objectives and so on so islamic banks also uh, supposed to do the same collecting deposit and uh, providing the financing so if we see the typical uh, typical balance sheet of islamic banks then we can easily realize the difference between Islamic banks and conventional banks, right? Because uh, we know in conventional, uh, they, they don't have any, any different contract. They have all, all their products and services uh, by virtue shall be based on lending and borrowing uh, arrangement, right? Lending and borrowing, right? Al-Qarq wal muqarada right? Maziyada. But in Islamic banks, this is a typical balance sheet. If we see the liability side and, and the right side uh, of my, maybe left side for you is the asset side, right? Uh, financing side. So in the liability side, in Islamic banks, you see Islamic bank collects the deposit, but uh, this deposit they collect based on many uh, different types of underlying contracts, right? For example, um, this deposit can be collected based on al wadiya We know al wadiya Arabic term, right? Wadiya means uh, is amana is deposit, right? It's safekeeping. So Islamic banks can collect uh, and also easily be collect collect the deposit based on wadiya 
also deposit can be collected based on motaraba right so wadia is safe keeping but we know motaraba is is the investment is is a profit sharing or partnership silent partnership right and also deposit can be collected based on pure qard but that qard should be we know al qard al hasan benevolent loan right uh, the interest free loan and also um, um, nowadays the deposit can be collected based on commodity murawaha which is basically uh, uh, the tawarru contract so we will discuss details inshallah so these are the liability side or deposit side of a typical balance sheet of islamic banks when we talk about the financing side or investment side but i find the word financing is is much more preferable because uh, normally bank uh, the banks do not invest right the bank provide financing so uh, same uh, in the asset side also islamic banks by use the many underlying contracts we have uh, murabaha financing right based on murabaha contract salam financing based on salam contract istisna financing based on istisna contract ijara financing based on ijara right and mudaraba financing based on mudaraba and uh, also musharaka financing and another one is uh, significantly uh, important uh, that is musharaka mutanaqisa which is called diminishing partnership right musharaka mutanaqisa diminishing partnership so um, some of the contract are is, is, this financing contract is debt contract it is a sell or lease based but it is normally debt contract because it creates the 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 liabilities right the debt the loan or uh, we call the liabilities right and also uh, another category is equity contract which is partnership so uh, by virtue the partnership portion should be more than the debt contract but unfortunately uh, in the reality the debt portion is much more higher than the partnership portion right uh, i think globally the mudaraba musharaka portion uh, uh, will not increase more than 5% right 5% in some countries is below 5% right so this is a, a, a unfortunate reality for for this uh, industry so these are uh, some um i show you to to get the clear picture uh, on the practices of islamic banks uh, what does islamic bank do right and what is their uh, what it looks like their typical balance sheet right okay so now if we go detail a little bit uh, on the deposit and we go also a little bit on the financing to get the whole idea on the uh, practices of islamic banks so as we know that uh, deposit is the is the soul of any bank right so islam for islamic banks also same islamic banks also as i mentioned collect the deposit from the surplus unit uh, surplus unit who, which are um, the household right business firm a non government institution or so government sector right and also they provide financing but uh, to collect the deposit and to mobilize the deposit islamic banks use many types of contract right uh, underlying contract and uh, just now i mentioned that it could be uh, wadia it could be mudaraba it could be qard and it could be commodity murabaha right okay so um, based on the underlying contract there are uh, basically four main types of deposit for islamic banks right um, something we call the saving deposit uh, another type we call current deposit term deposit and then investment deposit so uh, yes uh, the operational uh, from a personal perspective uh, they have differences saving deposit for example no maturity date any time we can withdraw the money and there is no need any minimum balance that we have to deposit but uh, normally saving deposit does not provide any check books uh, yes in some countries they provide check book but uh, normally uh, saving deposit does not uh, prescribe any check book to to withdraw the money uh, current deposit is also known as demand deposit so uh, it also permits the cash withdrawal at any time but uh, it issue the check book okay so 
The underlying contract for saving deposit and current deposit is uh, Qardul Hassan. Uh, Qardul Hassan is um, quite familiar for the Middle East. Uh, perhaps right now they converted to Mudaraba. And currently, I think uh, majority majority portion of the uh, banking Islamic banking deposit is being collected based on Mudaraba. Right? But uh, it was um, um, quite familiar, Qardul Hassan in Middle East and Wadiya Yad Adamana. This is I will discuss later on. This one uh, was familiar in, in South Asian countries. And Mudaraba is, I think, common for all. So these three contracts is basically uh, being used as an underlying contract for saving deposit and current deposit. Uh, when we talk about the term deposit, we know term deposit is, is term, is subject to a, a specific duration. Okay? And it can be deposited to a number of investment pools. There is no specific project that uh, the bank should invest that money. Right? It can only be withdrawn at the end of the term. Of course, since it is subject to the uh, specific uh, specific duration of time, so it cannot be withdrawn uh, before the lapse of the duration. Okay? And it is usually short term from one month to a few years. It, it is not uh, so for so long. So this term deposit can be collected based on wakala and restricted investment. Uh, of course, this is basically based on wakala. Uh, we know wakala bill is this smart is now getting popular uh, product or contract uh, because it's very easy for the banks to handle this fund and bank can can deduct his wakala commission upfront, right? So when you invest a, a amount of money and amount of money, the bank will deduct bank will take his commission, right? Uh, wakala fee, uh, Ujratul Wakala, you can say, right? And then the rest bank can invest and maybe bank can be shared uh, based on the agreement. But this one unrestricted because the bank is free to invest this fund into any project, right? There is no specific project. So bank can put this money into the bank's investment pool. Uh, investment pool means uh, the pool where all the type, all types of fund can be uh, invested together. Uh, and also um, another contract for term deposit is Mudaraba General Investment. Mudaraba General Investment, we can we can uh, name it Mudaraba Gairul Mukayyada, unrestricted, right? That you put your money into the bank and without any restriction. So bank is free. To invest in any project, in your, I mean, it is free from any mean um, ayeshurut or poyut. This is called mudaraba general investment, and also term deposit can be uh, collected uh, based on commodity murabaha. Commodity murabaha, I will discuss the structure. Uh, this is based on tawarruk, right? tawarruk, and then lastly, investment deposit. Investment deposit is is uh, is a very unique feature and unique product for Islamic banks because it is known as profit and loss sharing account. And it is based on uh, Mudaraba uh, special investment or Mudaraba restricted and Wakala restricted. Because, uh, you know, uh, this one, this is profit loss sharing. So no guarantee on capital and profit. And um, it, it might get attractive return with having risk of capital loss. For investment deposit, the return can be higher, but the risk also should be taken and that risk also will be higher, right? Uh, and this is very uh, unique uh, type of deposit for Islamic banks. That's why uh, the AOP and also IFSP, Islamic Financial Services Board, this regulatory agency, and they suggest that this investment deposit cannot be treated as the liability for the bank, right? Um, instead, this will be treated um, as an special fund. And this is a um, um, trade-off or write-off. I mean, this should not be uh, this, this close on the balance sheet in the liability side, because this is uh, uh, almost, um, I mean, resembles the equity, if not equity, right? So that's why this cannot be put in the liability side. And the, the contract used for investment deposit is Wakala restricted and Mudaraba restricted. Mudaraba special investment means Mudaraba al-Muqayyada. 
means uh, the bank should invest only into the project that is allowed by the depositor right so bank is uh, bank should follow all the conditions stipulated by the depositor okay so these are um, uh, i mean uh, most common deposit product that uh, have been practiced and used in islamic banks okay so we go one by one briefly so uh, first one saving deposit and current deposit is based on kardul hasan right kard kard means when we, in islamic context when we say kard this should be kardul hasan right kardul hasan means a free from any increase khali min ayy no i mean as yeah right no increase no benefit no extra benefit nuqudan aw ghayra nuqudin can monetary or non monetary form there should not be any extra benefit right so this is card uh, aof define the card is a transfer of ownership in fungible wealth to a person upon whom it is binding to return wealth similar to it uh, there is a slight misconception uh, uh, among uh, some people that kardul hasan should not be returned no it should be returned when i give you kardul hasan of course you must return uh upon the maturity but only the similar amount no extra but yes if you can give some extra out of the contract right i mean non contractual bidun ayy quyud bidun ayy shurud fil aqd as i choose it will be permissible right so you see the structure uh, when a depositor put money into the bank the bank of course uh, may invest the the fund into the sharia compliant investment and bank can earn the return but uh, bank is not uh, it is not binding for the bank to share the profit with the depositor why because in qard the capital is guaranteed 100% right if i put uh, 10000 dollars into the bank based on qard so definitely i will get any time i need i want i will get back the 10000 uh, dollars my my fund my deposit so when i say capital is guaranteed so there should not be any uh, any benefit any extra profit that i can ask from the bank okay so okay. however Doctor, there is uh, someone Uh, asking, uh, would you repeat why investment deposits are not liabilities of IB? Uh, in the chat uh, yes. group, uh, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I got the question. Thank you. Thank you. Because investment deposit is taken based on mudaraba, right? So in mudaraba, uh, the bank is manager mudarib. and the depositor is rabbul mal provider so this capital is not liability of the bank because if anything happen let's say that if the business uh, incur loss uh, and this loss also goes to the capital loss so the bank is not liable to pay back the capital so why it should be treated as liability while it is not my liability because this is partnership business right that's why uh, investment deposit this is basically the mudaraba special i, I mean mudaraba muqayyada so in mudaraba muqayyada all the liabilities of in relating to the capital shall be borne by the depositor yes if there is any negligence and misconduct from the bank side then bank will um, take the liability bank should take the liability otherwise the natural loss normally if the business incur loss then the bank uh, will not take any liability yes this is in principle of course in practice there are uh, many mechanism uh, to reduce this risk this is called risk management uh, mechanism also there is credit enhancement process there are many guarantee from third party and from other reserve fund or anything uh, to reduce uh, and to minimize this risk right that's why uh, iof and ifsb suggest that they should not be treated and they should not be mentioned as the liabilities of the bank okay okay so we are we are talking about the card and uh, i think we are clear that kardul hasan is a free uh, loan so by virtue bank will not um, should not give any profit on the 
uh, deposit that is taken based on the cards. Okay. Uh, maybe uh, we will discuss details uh, when we discuss in the investment deposit again on, on this issue, Mudaraba and so on. Okay. Silent feature of card based deposit. Uh, many deposited into the bank is considered a benevolent loan. Bank can use its own risk without any authorization, right? Bank only owes the principal amount to the depositor. Bank will uh, should should provide back only the capital amount, the deposit amount. Principal amount is guaranteed by the bank because this is cut. This is like a pure amana, right? Pure trust. And of course, no dividends are due in this deposit. So uh, in terms of the practice, there are uh, some issues, for example, um, normally when we see the practice, the bank will uh, normally provide some, some uh, amount that they call hadiya hadi or hiba gift, but that hiba should be non-contractual, right? Uh, there should not be any claim from the depositor to get that hiba, to collect that hiba. Right. So, uh, for example, one issue, an access for the lender. If you put any amount as a, as a card in the deposit, if you deposit any amount into the bank as a card, so no extra benefit is allowed. Now the question is, any form of, for example, utilization of ATM, checkbook, etc., will it will it be considered the riba? Uh, AOFE uh, standard says these benefits are permissible as they are common, right? And they will then set off the benefits of both parties against each other and the issue or riba, the issue of riba will then not arise. If some um, normal benefit, let's say if you put money, bank uh, will give you the ATM card so you can withdraw money anytime. So you can uh, get the benefit of using ATM card, not carrying uh, every time with you the cash money, right? And also checkbook and any, any other things. These are a small, a small, small benefit. This can be set off by the benefit that bank enjoying uh, while the bank invest your money into any project, right? Of course, bank will not keep your deposit idle, right? Bank will invest in any project, and of course, when bank invest, bank will get the profit, right? So benefit, bank will also enjoy the benefit. So AOF says this benefit of the bank can be set off by the benefit enjoyed by the depositor, by you, okay? So in that case, this benefit will not be considered any extra benefit out of the loan, which is prohibited, right? So this is a, a small issue. Another issue of HIBA, uh, normally as we um, discussed already, no material benefit is permissible against card based deposit, right? However, bank may offer gift, on its own discretion, right? But it shall not be pre-agreed and stipulated in the contract. So, as I mentioned from the very beginning, that HIPAA or that extra gift should be non-contractual, right? If any form of uh, uh, stipulation, either indirectly by custom, this also uh, uh, will trigger the Sharia issues. That's why um, uh, giving HIPAA this, should not be a regular practice. Because as we know the legal maxim, what is stipulated by custom also is stipulated as if in the contract. So if you make it a regular practice, then obviously the, the depositor will assume that, uh, okay, when we put a uh, deposit, even though as a form of art, we will get some benefit, right? So however, the point is, um, can be taken any benefit out of the Fardul Hassan but there should be non-contractual, right? So uh, this is uh, um, the deposit uh, taken based on cards. So another thing, uh, the second one, deposit uh, can be taken based on wadiya, safekeeping, right? And uh, the South Asian practice, uh, it was wadiya yadu damana. We know wadiya is safekeeping, is like amana, right? But uh, they add one more uh, feature, which is Damana. Uh, so it, it is itself contradictory. You are saying what they are, and at the same time, you are saying guarantee, right? So uh, that's why this Wadiya Yadu Damana is, is, is uh, similar to the card. 
So we know wadiya is safe keeping two types. Wadiya yadul amana and wadiya yadul tamana. Right? Wadiya with the trusty hand and wadiya with guarantee, damana. So wadiya yadul amana is a trust and safe custody, but no guarantee. Because we know uh, the legal principle, the legal maxim, al amana wa damana la tajtami'an. Right? Uh, there should not be a uh, commingle or mixture of trust and liability, trust and guarantee. If you give me anything to keep as a trust, so if these things uh, damage or destroy without any negligence and misconduct from me, right? Uh, I, I already take care of your belongings as I take care of my belongings. So in that case, I will not be liable for that damage and destroy destruction. So this is called amana and damana cannot come together. So if you say wadiya, in a real sense, there should not be any guarantee, right? So that's why wadiya yadul amana is a trust purely, but wadiya yadul damana is is wadiya with the guarantee, right? So uh, in, in this case, the bank invests the fund his own risk, and fund can be withdrawn at any time and shall be made available upon demand. So as provide guarantee, bank may voluntarily choose to share the profit as a form of HIP. Because uh, bank provides guarantee, so when banks provide guarantee, there should not be any profit sharing, right? So yes, maybe like the cards, bank can share some HIBA, some, uh, but that HIBA should be non-contractual. That's why I mentioned Wadiya Yadud Damana is uh, as same as Qart, as Qart al Hassan. So um, this is the Wadiya, two types of Wadiya, Yadul Amana and Yadud Damana. Just now I explained. So Wadiya Yadul Amana is simply means keeping with trust and no compensation in case of loss or damage, right? Except uh, if there is negligence and misconduct no reward for keeping and no right at all to use the property because this is amana right this is amana but wadiya uh, yadud damana is the opposite that's why uh, many scholars said wadiya uh, yadud damana is most like cult so that's why bank is not bound to share any profit for wadiya yadud damana so in south asian countries like malaysia pre uh, previously uh, they used to collect, take the deposit based on Wadiya Yadud Tamana. But uh, right now, I think uh, uh, they are mostly taking deposit based on Mudaraba. Now Mudaraba is uh, becomes very most uh, common contract, common underlying contract for collecting the deposit. Okay. So uh, Wadiya Yadud Tamana, the issue is similarity with Kart. So, because it is similarity with Kurt, so uh, shall not be share any profit. Only can HIBA, only a non-contractual HIBA can be shared. Okay. okay. Another contract for, uh, uh, we're talking about the current deposit and saving deposit. So, current deposit and saving deposit also can be taken based on Mudaraba. And I think um, the audience here, uh, we already know about the Modaraba contract, right? Modaraba is a silent partnership. Musharaka is active partnership. Why Modaraba is silent partnership? Because in Modaraba, uh, there are two parties, right? Uh, the one who provides the capital is called Rabbul Mal, and the one who provides the management skill is called Mudarib. Mudarib means entrepreneur or manager. So why silent? Because the capital provider who provides the money, he keeps silent. I mean, he will not involve and he should not involve in the business. That's why it is Mutaraba silent partnership. And the manager is free. If it is a Mudaraba non-restricted, Mudaraba Mutlaka, general Mudaraba, then the manager or the entrepreneur is free. Uh, to undertake any business, to do whatever he thinks is appropriate for the business. That's why it is called silent partnership. So uh, in by principle or by virtue, the capital provider 
shall not involve in any part of the business activities. Okay. So about the profit and loss sharing, uh, the profit can be shared based on the agreed ratio. If they agree that the profit will be 50-50, so can be 50-50. If they agree that the profit will be 60-40, so can be 60-40, right? Uh, it's, it's subject to their understanding and agreement. However, if there is loss, then all the financial loss or monetary loss shall be borne, shall be um, absorbed by the capital provider. And all kind of non-monetary loss, for example, the manager is uh, making his, made his effort, invested his time, energy, and everything. These are non-monetary capital, right? So the manager will, will absorb that non-monetary loss, okay? So uh, uh, the manager should not absorb, should not take, should not bear any monetary loss. Okay? So all the loss shall be borne by the uh, capital provider. So this is, we know, this is Mudarabha. Okay. So the saving and current deposit also can be collected based on this Mudarabha. So uh, Mudarabha deposit is a form of investment account, yes, but this is uh, general investment. This is Mudarabha Mutlaka. Mudarabha is no silent partnership, just now I discussed. Capital and profit cannot be guaranteed. Okay. So in the Mudarabha, the mudari, the manager shall not guarantee, neither sh shall neither guarantee the profit nor guarantee the capital. And yes, mudaraba will be two forms, muqayyada and mutlaqa. And mudarib will not be liable except in case of negligence and misconduct. Right? So uh, this is the mudaraba deposit. So. Uh, the profit will be shared and the loss shall be borne by the uh, capital provider, Rabul Mal, who are the depositor in banking. On, on so, uh, as we uh, just now mentioned, that uh, no liability shall be taken by the uh, Mudarib on the profit, also on the capital. However, uh, as I already said, that some sort of uh, guarantee can be can be arranged for the capital um, from by third party for example third party guarantee based on tabarro this is uh, oic islamic Faith academy and aof they allow this practice third party guarantee based on khardul hassan right or um, third party guarantee based on or from any special reserve fund. For example, from Mudaraba profit, a portion can be put aside as a reserve. If there is any loss, so that loss shall be covered from that reserve. This is called PER, Profit Equalization Reserve, right? To smoothen the profit and, and to offer, uh, to be able to offer a competitive rate. Because if, if the bank, Islamic bank say to the customer, okay, uh, this project being car loss, so we cannot share uh, that much of profit. Of course, maybe the customer will draw the deposit and will put into the conventional bank. So that's why AOP and IFSP uh, suggest and they allow also uh, to maintain a special reserve fund, which is called PER, Profit Equalization Reserve. Okay. So these are some management, some arrangement, sorry, some arrangement can be taken, right? To, to cover and to manage uh, any losses happens into the uh, Modaraba business. Okay? So this is um, uh, the, the this is called uh, risk mitigation process, or we can say also credit enhancement process to reduce the risk, to reduce the credit risk in the Modaraba venture. Okay. So uh, just now I discuss the saving deposit and current deposit. Again, saving deposit and current deposit is uh, being collected based on uh, Kartul Hassan, Wadiya Yadud Ramana, and Mudaraba. So now we can uh, talk about the term deposit. Term deposit means the deposit is subject to a specific duration, for example, for six months. So I deposited this amount into the bank 
for six months. So I cannot withdraw before six months. Okay, this is called term deposit. Um, term deposit is a sorry. The another contract can be used for term deposit is, as I mentioned, commodity Morabaha. So commodity Morabaha term deposit is a form of fixed deposit that comprises a series of Mudaraba contract, Morabaha contract, also known in classical term as Tawarrut. So commodity Morabaha is nothing but Tawarrut. But this one, uh, we can say the reverse Tawarrut, the opposite, the reverse, right? So commodity Morabaha or Tawarrut contract, as it can be used for to finance or for financing side, it also can be used for the deposit side. It means bank can collect the deposit also based on Tawarrut, right? So uh, benefit, the, uh, the advantage of using Tawarrut is uh, the return shall be fixed, right? And the duration also shall be fixed because it is uh, based on Murabaha contract, sale contract. Since it is based on sale contract, of course, we know one of the main condition in the sale contract, the, the price of the contract shall be fixed and known, right? So once the price is known, so the profit margin for the uh, depositor also shall be fixed and known, right? So this is the advantage of commodity Morabaha. So now, uh, what is commodity Morabaha? The underlying contract is Tawarro. The underlying contract is selling the uh, selling some commodity based on Morabaha. As we know, Tawarro, right? Tawarro is um, you buy an asset from Mr. A and you sell it to Mr. C. Let's say you are Mr. B. So I, Mr. B, I, I buy an asset from Mr. A and I sell it to Mr. C. So maybe when I buy from Mr. A, of course this buying will be on credit, right? And some extra with some extra from the original uh, price. Let's say I buy the asset uh, with $1,000 on credit because I need basically, as we discussed, mentioned earlier, uh, last session, the tower rock is for to manage the liquidity. So since I need money, so because he cannot give directly the money because he cannot make any profit. So he offered me an asset. So I buy that asset from him, Mr. A, on credit with $1,000, okay? Uh, so I don't need the asset, right? Now I will sell the asset to Mr. C with $800 on cash, All right? So what happened now? I got $800 on cash and at the same time, I have to pay. I owe $1,000 to Mr. A that I have to pay maybe after three months, maybe after six months. This is all about tower rate. Right? So the commodity more because to understand the commodity Morabaha, we have to understand our rook. So you see the commodity Morabaha structure. Of course, in commodity Morabaha, because this is organized our rook. La, la, last session we discussed, somebody asked about the organized our rook, right? So everything shall be organized. So let's say, see, this is number one. The customer appoints bank as its agent to buy commodity. Because this is for deposit side. So the intention here to collect the deposit from the customer, from the depositor, right? Of course, the depositor uh, cannot put directly the cash because if put directly the cash, cannot make any profit. So the depositor needs some asset, right? Some banking asset. Of course, that banking asset, uh, we know in a commodity market, in an organized commodity market, uh, the individual does not have any access. Al-Afrat, uh, uh, he has a soak, right? So this organized commodity market for the individual, they don't have any access. So that's why the customer has to appoint the bank, his agent to buy the asset from the market. So customer now appoint the bank, his agent, and bank will buy commodity 
uh, from uh, broker or trader A, right? Via uh, through Bursa Suk Asila. Bursa Suk Asila is nothing but an electronic organized commodity market uh, established here in Malaysia to facilitate the Tawaru contract. I will show you uh, ne next slide, the Bursa. So the, for the commodity Morabaha deposit, the customer appoint the bank, his agent, to buy the commodity from Bursa Sukasila. So now the bank buy the asset on behalf of the customer, right? Okay. So now who is the owner of the asset? The customer, right? Bank is just customer agent. Now, number two, customer then sell the commodity to bank at cost plus profit on deferred term. So now customer will sell the asset to the bank with market, with Morabaha, right? We know Morabaha cost plus profit. And then bank, what will do bank uh, with that asset? Bank will sell the commodity to another broker uh, with helping the Bursa Sukusela and bank will get the cash. Okay, so let's say uh, customer uh, buy the asset with $1,000 and customer sell this asset to the bank with $1,200. So $200, meaning $1, uh, profit for the customer, right? But that will be paid after six months or after, because this is term deposit. So if it is for six months, so he will get it, customer will get it after six months. So now bank will sell that asset to another broker with the market price, $1,000, right? So this is the commodity that Morabaha deposit. Uh, with this, the bank can collect the deposit from the uh, customer, from the depositor. So the advantage is, uh, if customer is uh, the risk profile of the customer is very low, uh, customer is not interested uh, for any uh, any uh, variable uh, profit rate. He prefers for a fixed profit rate, so he can go for this commodity Morabaha transaction because this is sale contract, so the profit can be fixed. The profit margin can be determined and fixed. Okay, so this is commodity Morabaha. So here the customer appoint the bank, his agent, because this is deposit side. If it is financing side, then uh, the bank will appoint the uh, customer, his agent. Okay. So uh, in commodity Murabaha, there is agency agreement, Wakala agreement between the uh, client and the bank. Also, the underlying contract is Morabaha, is selling a commodity on a deferred price and then uh, selling the commodity again to another party on cash. Okay. So, um, the advantage I already mentioned uh, this commodity Morabaha generally used for fixed deposit, principal protected because this is sale contract. Um, amount is given as sale proceed to the bank. Bank is owner of fund and liability, customer is owner of debt. Uh, financial obligation is created, principal is guaranteed. So the main advantage is the principal is guaranteed and uh, the profit also can be fixed and determined, right? So this is uh, Malaysian Bursa Sukusela. Uh, you can check also from website, right? This is fully electronic web-based platform provides industry player, right? Uh, and the objective is to provide the liquidity uh, tower roof facility for the liquidity management purpose. So um, you see in this uh, diagram, uh, electronic, this Bursa Sukusila, they just uh, uh, provide the service as a middleman, as a middleman, right? as a platform that they will, uh, uh, they will, uh, uh, they will um, provide the job as a, as a bridge between the bank and customer and the broker, right? So there are brokers, there are listed broker, they can deal with Bursa 
And uh, when the bank uh, need to do any tower contract, bank will contract with the bursa. So bursa will uh, will contract with any supplier. So of course, because this is tower rook, uh, the buyer and seller, that means the broker A and broker B shall be the different entity. Right? If the bank buys the commodity and they use the commodity palm oil, crude palm oil, CPO. So if uh, the bank buys the CPO from broker A and the bank should sell the, bro the commodity to broker B, right? Should not be the same person. And then of course, uh, Bursa will do this one randomly. Uh, so I, there is the chances is very low uh, to become the same uh, seller and same um, buyer in the transaction. So, and then term deposit can be also based on Wakala. Term deposit based on Mudaraba, uh, sorry, based on commodity Murabaha, just now we discussed, and also based on Wakala. And this Wakala, because it is term deposit, so this Wakala is unrestricted, means the bank is free. The bank can put this money into the investment pool of the bank, right? So, of course, uh, because it is Wakala, so bank can deduct the Wakala fee or the commission based on the agreement, okay? And then finally, the fourth one, investment deposit. Uh, in the fourth type of deposit is investment deposit, which is uh, can be based on Wakala restricted. Means again, same based on Wakala bill is this mark, but uh, uh, the bank is restricted to invest into certain project allowed by the depository. And also, uh, of course, the bank can deduct the agency fee. Agency fee can be fixed, also can be subject to the customary practice uh, related to any established benchmark and so on. Okay. And investment uh, account also can be based on Mudaraba special investment account, which is Mudaraba Mukhayyada, right? Uh, the general investment, that one Mudaraba Mutlaka and this one Mudaraba Mukhayyada. So Mudarba Mukayyada means uh, uh, the Rabbul Mal or the depositor will advise and bank can only invest into the certain project, cannot be put together into the investment pool of the bank. Okay, the discuss, okay. So this is, uh, this slide is the uh, summary of the deposit, uh, deposit product of Islamic banks. Um, just now we discuss current account, saving account, investment account. Uh, current account, uh, Wadiya, Fardul Hassan, Mudaraba, saving account also. Investment account is unrestricted Mudaraba or can be restricted Mudaraba. Uh, as, as we discussed uh, in the current account, this is on demand and flexible payment. Right? Uh, saving account also, anytime we can withdraw the money and uh, can be invested in into the investment pool. I mean, bank can commingle all the funds and can invest together. But for investment account, because this is a special, only unrestricted investment account is pooled with other funds, right? Uh, and for the return, current and saving, the return is only HIBA, non-contractual. But for investment account, it will be the profit sharing, right? The bank will share the profit based on the agreement. And of course, for if we talk about the risk for current and saving, uh, there is no uh, not that much risk because the capital is guaranteed. That's why uh, bank can share only a non-contractual HIBA. But for investment account, because this is subject to Modaraba, so the depositor shall bear the risk of losses and other things and damage. Okay. So I think uh, um, because uh, we have uh, time constraint, so that's why. I just try to uh, introduce you the practices of Islamic banks. So uh, until now, I introduced the deposit site, right? The deposit products of the Islamic banks. Now let me uh, share a little bit on financing, right? Financing. So same uh, with the deposit site, the Islamic banks also offer many uh, products based on the, uh, uh, customer demand and need. And in the financing side, you see, if we talk about the home financing, so there are many product or many contract, for example, by uh, uh, this is uh, nothing but by Moachal, right? 
by Muajjal, a Musharraka Mutana Kisa Home Financing, Tawarruk Home Financing, Istisna Home Financing. If uh, to offer the home financing, the bank can use any of the product or any of these contract. For car financing, automobile financing, normally the bank use Ijara Muntahiya Bitamli. It is very uh, known in Middle East. Uh, and for, for South Asian countries, it is called Aita, Ijara Summa Albay. Ijara Summa Albay. And this is nothing but the lease, but that lease is financial lease. It is not the normal and operational lease. Because the financial lease, uh, that lease will be ended by transferring the ownership. Right. Because, of course, bank is not interested to hold the ownership of the asset. So, uh, Ijara Muntahiya Bittamli. Ijara ended by transferring the ownership to the customer gradually. Right. Um, asset financing or any project financing can be based on Murabha or Istisna financing. Personal financing uh, is Power uh, Rook and also Rahan. This is uh, very common in Malaysia, uh, Rahan personal financing, but Ar Rahanu, they call Ar Rahanu. Ar Rahanu also now uh, the the Sharia Advisory Council of Bank Negara Malaysia, they suggested that this Arrahanu also shall be structured based on Tower Road. So they have a new, um, new uh, resolution is available. Uh, if interested, you can read on that. Islamic credit card, also based on Tower Road and also um, based on Ujara. Uh, is, is the, the most common and most preferred one is based on Ujara. The bank will deduct, bank will enjoy a, a fixed fee, a fixed service charge based on uh, uh, Ujra concept. Okay. Also, Islamic trade financing, the export and import, Irad uh, Walistirad. This one, the bank uh, issue the LC, letter of guarantee. Letter of guarantee can be issued based on Wakala. If the depositor uh, has 100% capital, which is back-to-back -back LC, LC. So this can be structured based on Wakala. Also, um, if uh, the customer or the client uh, or the importer uh, does not have the fund, then the bank can, can import the item and then can sell item to the importer on Morabaha. So this is called Morabaha LC. Also uh, can be Musharaka. Musharaka LC means the importer will share 10% or 20% of the capital and the bank will uh, will inject uh, another 80%. So they will form a partnership and they will import the item from the overseas. So this one, Mushara Kalsi. Okay. So these are briefly uh, the banking product for financing, banking financing practices uh, based on different uh, contract, right? So uh, let me introduce some. Uh, for example, Morabaha financing. Uh, we know what is Morabaha, right? The Murabaha from Ribhun is profit. So, of course, all the buying and selling should be based on the profit. So, what is the special of Murabaha? The special in Murabaha is the cost must be disclosed because this is called cost plus profit, right? So, in, in other, our normal sale, which is called Musawama, bargaining sale, that we do. For example, when we buy something from shopping mall, from supermarket, right, we don't know uh, how much cost, how much the original price, and how much the, the seller's profit, right? But in Morabaha, the seller must disclose that this is the cost amount and this is my profit. So that's why it is special, right? So you see, for example, for the bank side, when customer request uh, for any Morabaha asset, the bank will buy the asset from the supplier, let's say with $100, and the bank will sell that asset on defer to the customer with 110. So 100 is bank cost and the $10 is bank's profit. And this shall be disclosed in the documentation and this will be known by the customer. So this is the Morabaha. This is the uh, unique feature of Morabaha and this is the difference between Morabaha and other sales. Okay. But for the banks, uh, normally, the bank practices Morabaha. Uh, we know Morabaha uh, Lil Amil Bishara, right? Morabaha to the purchase order. For example, as a customer, uh, I need something. So I request the bank to buy that asset for me. And then 
we agree on the profit margin, uh, let's say uh, based on the uh, whatever cost. So bank will uh, add some profit margin and customer agree. So this is called Murabaha purchase to the orderer. And it has some, uh, some uh, related contract as well. For example, the first stage is the promise. Customer makes promise, customer make wants, and then principal and agent, uh, the bank will appoint the customer, his agent to buy the asset and then offer an offering and then buying and selling and then becomes creditor and debtor. So these are the uh, some stages that shall be followed sequently, right? One by, for example, the creditor debtor cannot become before the buying and selling. The buying and selling we cannot before uh, offer and offering, something like that. Okay, so uh, AOFI uh, provides many conditions to ensure that this this will be a pure morabaha. This is cannot be just uh, like a, a hila to avoid the loan. It cannot be looks like a loan contract. That's why the price quotation the uh, should be should address the bank because there is two contract right. First one between the bank and the supplier and second one between the bank and the customer. So the, the first contract between the bank and the supplier shall be the genuine. Labudda hunaka by on hakiki, final bank and the supplier and the seller, right? And that's why all the reference letters, all the price quotation shall address the bank because uh, bank must have the ownership. Bank must have the milk here before selling to the customer. Bank must have the ownership. So to ensure that ownership, the initial contract shall be valid and shall be between the bank and the supplier. And then bank only um, sell to the client. Of course, uh, there are also uh, many issues. Uh, for example, the bank can ask a commitment fee uh, based on the promise of the bank. And if customer uh, will not continue with the promise, bank can deduct only the actual cost incurred by the bank, cannot take any extra amount, okay? And also um, the rescheduling of Murabaha is not permissible, okay? And rebate, Excuse there me, are any- Dr. Uh, yes. you have half an hour, half an hour left uh, to end the lecture. So I think uh, you can take also some questions uh, in the chat group or in the question and answer section. So I okay. think I request uh, participants to leave their questions or comments in question and answer section. So while you are presenting your lecture, you can also answer some questions. Yeah, that way we can continue, I guess. Uh, yeah. Actually, uh, when I share my screen, uh, it is quite tough to read the chat box together. Because uh, I, when I share my screen, the slides, so uh, it's, it's uh, oh, okay, okay. Okay, so far, is there any, uh, uh, any significant question there in the chat box or Q and A? Yeah, there is no question uh, yet in question and answer section, but in chat group, I think there is a question uh, from, uh, it's already gone, Never mind. let me check. Yeah, I think, uh, let me give so me five I minutes more. Uh, participants. Uh, I, I think, uh, the, 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 yeah. You, you can just continue, me. no problem. Okay. No, uh, doctor, can give me five minutes more to wrap okay, up. While you uh, get and, the and then, yes. And then I will go through the chat box. Okay. Uh, let me continue uh, to wrap up the rest of the things and then uh, we will follow the chat box. We'll go through the chat box and question and answer. Maybe the participant can ask directly also by unmuting their mic. I don't know. Okay. Uh, so uh, this is about the Murabaha financing. 
And then uh, because I show you for the project financing, asset financing, the bank can use also Istisna. Uh, we know what is Istisna all about. I mean, Istisna is nothing but a manufacturing contract that you order something to manufacture and uh, the company will uh, produce for you and will deliver later on uh, within a specific uh, duration of time, right? And for the bank also, the bank normally uh, also do another istisna, parallel istisna with another contractor so that bank can deliver the asset on time to the uh, client. But uh, the IOF says the two contracts shall be independent, right? The first istisna contract and second parallel istisna contract shall be independent. Independent means any kinds of responsibilities from the second contract shall not be related to the uh, first contract. So Istisna is very, uh, a very uh, good and effective contract for asset financing uh, to build and to construct the big project, the uh, the highways, the uh, the mega project, the airport, the power plant. Right. Uh, this all this can be can be designed based on Istisna contract. Uh, also, the concept of BOT, build, operate, and transfer. Right. We know can be structured also based on Istisna contract. Uh, and uh, another contract is for financing is Tower Rook. I already discussed Tower Rook, right? Uh, Tower Rook is uh, very much uh, common for the financing. And just now we have seen that for personal financing, for home financing, for car financing, uh, even for deposit collection also, uh, the Tower Rook contract can be used. This is organized Tower Rook. I think this slide is similar that I, I show you and I discussed the, the commodity Morabaha, right? Uh, there are two brokers and they are a bank and they are a client, okay? The bank buys commodity from broker A and then acting as the appointed sale agent, bank sell commodity to another broker. So this is the uh, similar to commodity Murawaha that I am not repeating, okay? Uh, so this is our look. And also another uh, practice is Ijara, another interesting and familiar and uh, well-known, uh, very much practice also Ijara. Um, why Ijara is special because Ijara, we know the rental, right? When we talk about the sale contract, the price shall be fixed, cannot adjust it. But when we talk about the lease contract, the rental can be adjusted based on the market uh, fluctuation. Maybe for any six months or for uh, every year, the, the rental amount can be, can be revised. So this is a good feature and a unique feature for Ijara contract. That's why even in the Sukuk also, uh, the Sukuk Ijara is very much practice, right? Of course, as I said, for Ijara, uh, uh, there are two types of Ijara, operational and financial. But for the banks, banks always prefer the financing Ijara because bank will always try uh, to transfer the ownership to customer, which is called Ijara Muntahiya Vitamli. And that transferring can be in the form of HIBA, can be in the form of sale, can be in the form of sale with a token price or with a uh, Bissar Ramzi or can be uh, Bissar um, uh, Asuk, right? Can be anything based on agreement. Another interesting for uh, a lease contract is called Ijara Masufa Fizima, which is forward lease. Uh, the, the benefit is not uh, ready yet. The benefit will be ready after, uh, let's say five years, but the rental amount can be collected earlier to construct the project. Uh, and then after five years, we'll be handover. We know the, the MRA Zam 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 Tower is designed and constructed based on the concept of Ijara Mosufa Fizima, right? So these are very uh, interesting things. Last one, I uh, try to introduce Musharaka Mutanakisa for home financing, diminishing partnership, right? Diminishing partnership, uh, the bank uh, and the customer will form a partnership. So the bank's portion will be 80% or 90%. The customer portion is 10%. So after paying every rental amount, the bank customer, bank's portion will uh, decrease, customer portion will increase. So at the end, the bank's portion will be zero, customer will be the full owner. Uh, you see, this is the payment schedule for MMP. It's, it's very clear. If you see at the end, uh, uh, this is, you see, financial equity. This is the financial cash flow. Uh, this is customer ownership. So customer ownership at the end will be 100%, and the bank's ownership will be at the end zero. Okay. 
So this is another form of Musharraq uh, Mutanafisa. There are also some other uh, services practiced for Islamic banks. For example, Islamic banks provide the remittance services, agency services, guarantee services. So this also designed uh, based on uh, some Sharia compliant contract like Hawala, Wakala, and Kafala. All right. So I think uh, I will stop here. Uh, thank you very much for your passion uh, and good listening. Now we can uh, discuss uh, anything if you have uh, any question or anything. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Now the floor over to you, uh, Dr. Mahesh. Uh, yes, Dr. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, there is a previous question. Uh, can you hear me? No, 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 not yet. Yes, now I, I'm listening, please. Dr. Habib, can you hear me? Yes, now I am hearing yeah, there you. There is a question someone asked. If we deposit, if we deposit our money uh, into the bank for investment, and you know bank has normally some shady deals in terms of halal, so does that require us to withdraw our money? Maybe if someone invests some money to the bank, yes. so the banks, you know, normally they invest in some other uh, projects. So this is what he is asking, I guess. Okay, uh, thank you very much um, for the question. Uh, and thank you also, uh, Dr. Mahiuddin, for reading the question. Uh, actually, uh, first of all, if it is Islamic banks, for Islamic banks, it has a Sharia supervisory body, Sharia supervisory committee, and uh, uh, we know, there is uh, many Sharia people who should work in the bank uh, as, as per se by the regulation. For example, there are people Sharia in the risk department, in the finance department, in the audit department, and in the Sharia committee in the BOD. So if uh, this is, let's say, if just your confusion and your uh, doubtful, you have a mint faqat, yani anta tashukku fi amal al bank. But uh, if Sharia scholar, they don't have any uh, issue on that, they allow, then I think uh, you can keep your money with the bank, right? If Sharia scholar itself uh, certify that this project is doubtful, then of course bank will not continue. But still, if bank continues, then you can withdraw your money, of course, because uh, at the end we are looking for the halal income, halal investment. Right. So the, the main point is, uh, what is the basis for your confusion? How do you know that bank invest into the uh, into the doubtful project? We cannot simply uh, put our doubt on the bank because bank is working under many regulation, under many supervision. So if everybody is, uh, is uh, putting his confusion into the bank, then uh, it will be very shaky. Right. It will be very there will not be any stability in the banking system. That's why we have to see for the resolution and decision of Sharia Supervisory Committee of the banks. Okay? But again, at the end, if you are not uh, mutmain, but you have right to withdraw your money, of course. Uh, there is no doubt on that. Okay? Thank you. Yes, thank you very much, Doctor. There are some other questions in question and answer section. Okay. Uh, the practice of banks to deduct a monthly management charge from current account, current, as we know, is it permissible? If so, under what rule it's permissible? Okay, because... Um... Whatever uh, way we put our money in the deposit or current uh, or savings or current account, because bank will give us the ATM card, right? Debit card. So we use our debit card and we would withdraw our money from ATM. Also, we can uh, transfer electronically. We can do online transfer. Also, we can uh, enjoy many other facilities. So uh, for all these facilities provided by the bank, of course, bank can deduct. Uh, as, this is called service charge, right? This is the service charge. So this is purely halal. There is uh, no issue because bank is providing facilities and uh, of course bank is uh, deducting the charge, right? So I think there is no issue. It's, it's purely uh, permissible, it's purely halal. Okay. 
Okay, Dr. Habib, uh, can you, uh, is it uh, yeah, easy yeah, for yeah. you to open question and answer section or no? Yeah, yeah, now I can. Yeah, yeah. you can continue, no problem. One, one by one, you okay. can continue, yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, number two, mentioned the bank cannot give deposit holder under first or mother of a contract a predefined return. What about the practice of giving gift on a monthly basis under a lottery basis? Uh, yes, uh, there is uh, two issue here. Uh, one is uh, just giving a gift. This is, I already discussed, giving HIBA. But if this HIBA is non-contractual, right, then okay, should be non-contractual. This is, I already discussed. Second uh, new issue in the question comes, if it is given based on the lottery. Uh, I think uh, there are some practice that uh, this is called uh, Mudaraba price saving account. So they give a periodical price based on the lottery. So we know uh, for the lottery, if uh, the, the prize is money coming from the bank's portion, then it is permissible. But, but if the prize money coming from the uh, depositor's profit portion, then it is not permissible. We know the, the for the lottery and for all this issue, if the prize is provided by the third party or by only organizer, then it is permissible, it is not Kimar. But if all the participants, they enjoy in the prize money and whoever wins will take the prize. So this is exactly the Kimar gambling. So for to answer the question, if the amount of the price, the prize money comes from the bank's portion, then it is permissible. And I, in, in Malaysia, uh, uh, it, it has this practice, this practice available. But if the prize money comes from the customers or depositors portion, then of course it is not permissible. Okay. Thank you. And next question, additional explanation about the stages of Mudaraba. Um, uh, I'm not clear about the stages. What do you mean by stages? But Mudaraba has two types, as we discussed, Mudaraba Mutlaqa and Mudaraba Muqayyada. Mudaraba Mutlaqa is restricted, uh, non-restricted. Khali min ayyi qaydin wa shartin. The bank is free to invest in any project, right? But Mudaraba Muqayyada is restricted. Uh, bank is not free. Bank only can invest into the project uh, that is allowed by the, or that is agreed by the depositor. Difference among diminishing Musharaka, Ijaza Walektina, and HPSM with the practical application. Uh, yes, uh, HPSM, higher purchase, Shirkatul Mil, Kanun in Bangladesh, and Ijara Walektina is nothing but Ijara Muntahia with Tamlik, and diminishing Musharaka is almost similar. Right. And the main concept is similar, is, uh, is uh, ending with transferring the ownership. However, there are differences also. Um, for example, in diminishing Musharaka, it is start with the partnership, with the partnership between the banks and the client. But Ijara Walektena is not partnership. It is start with the bank will buy the asset and the bank will lease it to the customer. And in HP, HPSM, uh, higher purchase with Shirkatul Milk, that one, uh, of course, uh, close to the uh, Musharaka, I think that one will start with the partnership. So there are uh, two practice basically. One is um, the ownership of the asset will be obtained based on the partnership between the bank and the uh, customer. This is number one. And then of course, ultimately the bank will transfer all the ownership 100% to the um, customer. But uh, another way is the bank based on the customer request, bank will buy the asset and then bank will gradually transfer the ownership to the uh, uh, client. So no partnership. For example, Ijara Walektena, there is no partnership. And HPSM, there is partnership. And investment accounts are off balance sheet because under Modaraba represent no liability. So current account and saving account are taken based on Modaraba. Uh, yes, current account and saving account, even though this is based on Modaraba, but this one, there is there are differences. This one, the customer can withdraw any time, right? This is not uh, related to any specific duration. For example, I put money on current account and uh, after some while, even tomorrow on demand, I can collect it, right? But for special investment account, uh, there is no interference from the 
depositor, even that depositor cannot withdraw money until the lapse of the duration. So let's say the duration is for three months. So all the three months, uh, the 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 depositor does not have any any interfere or any oversee on the deposit, right? That's why uh, the regulator should take care of this fund on behalf of the depositor. That's why it should be treated very unique way and it should be treated differently. That's why the regulator suggested it should be uh, of balance sheet. I think um, uh, if uh, if you are interested, you can read the AOFIS uh, standard and also IFSP, Inter uh, Islamic Financial Services Board standard based on uh, in this investment account. It will be clear. So investment account and uh, uh, current and saving account is totally different because that is on demand. Anytime you can withdraw, but uh, special investment account, you we cannot withdraw anytime. Um, okay, uh, the last question, the another question is comes on the rebate. And there is also another question in the chat box on the rebate. So for the rebate, I want to make it clear that uh, rebate should be non-contractual because if you say in the contract um, the 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 amount is like that but if you pay early so i will give you discount that will be exactly similar to the riba al jahiliya in riba al jahiliya you pay earlier you will get discount you pay later you will be uh, 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 imposed i mean you have to pay more so that's why rebate should be non-contractual. Let's say you already customer already settled his loan early. So it is uh, bank's uh, uh, nobility, bank's uh, goodness that to discount uh, some amount in the price, but that should be non-contractual and totally based on the bank's discretion, right? And also uh, this should not be a regular practice if customary practice, because what is stipulated by the custom is like stipulated in the contract. So AOFE standard also allow uh, to take rebate, but should be based on non-contractual, okay? So I think this is the part of the rebate. Uh, so any contractual rebate uh, will be uh, similar to the RIBA. Okay, uh, I think um, so far okay. that's all. Yeah, I think there is no more question. And also we are almost, uh, at the end of the lecture. So, I, no problem, inshallah. I just, uh, meanwhile, waiting for another two minutes and waiting for an, any other question. I would like to invite all the participants to our next English lecture, also by Dr. Habib Rahman, which will be held in next Thursday on 18. Uh, February next Thursday, Yom al Khamis. Uh, and the topic is Al Haukama Lil Muassasat Il Maliya Al Islamiya. Al Haukama Lil Muassasat Il Maliya Al Islamiya. Governance of Islamic Financial Institutions. Governance of Islamic Financial Institutions uh, will be our next topic on Thursday, inshallah, will be conducted by the Dr. Habib Rahman, inshallah. So all participants and attendees are uh, cordially invited to join us, inshallah. So we would like to uh, especially thank our uh, Dr. Habib Rahman uh, for his wonderful uh, presentation and lecture, mm -hmm. a kind of training on the Islamic banking principles and practices on behalf of Nadi Iqtisad Islami. We would like to thank you very much, Doctor, and inshallah, we'll see you again in next week and then after next week. And also, we'd like to thank uh, Mushrif Al Am, Doctor Ala uh, Adil, who is Mushrif Al Am uh, for the Nadil Iqtisad Al Islami for the, arranging this opportunity for all the participants and attendees. And uh, lastly, we'd like to thank all the participants and attendees for joining us. And we hope that uh, this Nadir uh, Iqtisad al-Islami and all the lectures will benefit you uh, so that you can contribute in the society and in Islam, Islamic world and Muslim movement, inshallah. So thank you very much. 
Uh, and see you again, Dr. Habib. Thank you so much. Jazakallah khair al jazak. Jazakumullah khair wa barakallahu fi amali wa ilmi. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Mustalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakumullah khair and and also thanks uh, thank very much for the Nadi Lakhtisad al Islami for organizing uh, such kind of wonderful uh, programs. Barakallahu fi sa'i. Assalamu alaikum. And also thanks for all the participants to actively participate in the discussion and for question and answer. I, 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 I enjoyed to see uh, many questions and also many questions are always welcome from participants. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.